Hi, and welcome back to Football Made Simple. The Champions League final will take centre stage this Sunday when PSG and Bayern Munich clash in Lisbon. Two strong teams, led by Flick and Tuchel, will do battle to take all the spoils. Both sides have shown their strengths and weaknesses in the matches leading up to the final. But what tactics could we see unfold when they clash? In this preview, we take a look. And ahead of the match, if you want more news, previews, as well as updates during the match, check out the OneFootball app. It's a great free app that will give you formation updates, stats, and much more. And you can get it through the sponsored link in the description below. And a special thanks to my patrons for helping to support Football Made Simple. If you want to help support and get access to an upcoming exclusive video where we'll explore what each manager could have done differently during the final, as well as early access to the videos on screen, head on over to patreon.com slash football made simple. And if you can't, that's absolutely fine. A like on the video would go a long way. Let's start by looking at the potential formations. Almost certainly Bayern will stick to their preferred 4-2-3-1 with a fairly predictable lineup. The only slight question mark is whether Kimmich will play alongside Thiago as he has done for most of the season or at right back as he's done for the last two matches. PSG also have a well established 4-3-3 and seemingly the only question is the identity of the left central midfielder. It could be Paradis as in their semi-final encounter but if PSG want more defensive solidity, they could opt for Idrissa Gay. But ideally, Tuchel would want Verratti there, although he is not yet fully fit, having only appeared for a few minutes in the semi-final. Let's start by looking at what PSG could potentially try to do on the ball. PSG are a possession-based side, and as a result, they will likely look to play out from the back. However, Flick loves pressing high, as we have seen in recent matches, using the front three in different ways. If PSG used two centre-backs in the build-up phase, we have seen Lewandowski drop onto the defensive midfielder, with the two wingers tucking in to press the centre-backs ahead of him. This shape would allow the press whilst maintaining the numerical advantage in the centre. Alternatively, particularly if Verratti plays, he could drop into the defensive line to form the third man giving them the temporary advantage here. However, in this case, Lewandowski will step out, with Muller moving onto the pivot instead. Either way, Bernat and Kera could be crucial here, as they would look to be the outlets. It will be interesting to see what Bayern could look to do in this situation, as against Lyon, they could afford to push the fullbacks high up, as Lyon only had one man in each wide area. But with Mbappe and Di Maria lurking, they may sit deeper and allow the fullbacks to initially have time on the ball until they're closed down. Or the wingers could stay wide initially, then look to press the centre backs using their cover shadow to still cover the wide region. Bayern's line will be one of the areas that could decide the game, as it has generally looked shaky. If they stick to their high line, this could be taken advantage of, particularly by Mbappe up against the right back while Davis will probably be able to recover against Di Maria. This could potentially lead to 1 vs 1s against Neuer, who would have to use his expert sweeper-keeper reading ability to try and stop this. However, if Bayern drop their line deeper initially, this will just provide space for Neymar to operate between the lines and try to create for others or get a goal-scoring opportunity. This may present the case for Kimmich playing in midfield, as when Bayern have the ball, Goretzka tends to push much higher, so on the transition after a turnover, Neymar would have much more space here. So Kimmich could potentially mitigate this, as he can sit deeper. And higher up the pitch, Neymar and Mbappe will look to combine once again on this inside left channel. Bernard has often pushed much higher than Kera, which allows Mbappe central, and he and Neymar constantly swap either way. If Gnabry is slow to track back, which at times we have seen, this will stretch out the backline, creating space for men to be played in on this inside left half space. But how could Bayern look to play? Of course, they will look to dictate the pace of the game by playing out from the back, with Thiago looking to drop into the backline to allow Kimmich and Davis much higher. We might see the PSG front three look to go man to man here and apply the pressure. The difference is, Neuer is so comfortable on the ball that he could act as the fourth man to give Bayern the advantage and play around this immediate high press and into the midfield areas. 
Alternatively, the fullbacks will be free to receive the ball, and in previous matches, we have seen Herrera go out wide to try and mitigate this. However, with Bayern's wingers happy coming central, this would leave PSG heavily outnumbered in the centre, so this is unlikely to happen. This could play into Bayern's tactics higher up the pitch. PSG's front three, perhaps with the exception of Di Maria, will likely not track back, so the wide regions could be key for Bayern. This could be by the winger and the fullback looking to combine 2 vs 1 against the PSG fullback and then looking to manufacture room for the cross. This will also likely draw a midfielder across, meaning that Bayern could switch the play to great effect. However, we have seen this facilitate the wingers coming central and creating a massive overload here, and consistent rotation. So the PSG midfield will need to be alert to prevent the ball coming in between the lines. This will be difficult, because Neymar is unlikely to track and sit deep on Thiago, so with too much time and space, he can dictate the play and look to pick out the pass. However, if a PSG midfielder comes out, they will now be out of position as well. At the same time, on the left in particular, Bayern would still have the advantage on a 1 vs 1, as Davis is likely able to take on Kera. Interestingly, one of the ways PSG could defend this is by their attack. If Mbappe comes across to this region, Davis could be concerned by the counter-attack and drop deeper, which would stunt the Bayern attack. Although we have seen at times Kimmich dropping in as a third centre-back to try and prevent the counter instead. However, if Bayern do get into the wide regions, when they look to get the cross in, several of the central players will attack the box and look to overload it, so this could be dangerous. These, of course, are just a few thoughts on what could potentially happen, but I'd love it if you commented down below on what else you think could happen differently. If you enjoyed the video, a like and a share would go a long way. And after the post-match breakdown, over on Patreon, we will look at what each manager could have done differently in the final. So head on over to patreon.com slash simple if you don't want to miss that. And I'd like to thank my Patreons for their continued support, including Benko, Alistair, Alvin Allen, Patrick Capilli, Karen Mehta, Devious Z, Jorge Ferreira, Kusha Aslani, Darius Nute, Bill Yano, Dennis Kianakaras, Omri Etzioni, Ali Traore, and Fabian Vanham. But that's all for today and remember, keep it simple.